Superman tries to reason with Godzilla and take their battle away from Metropolis, but soon realizes the monster is set on a fight. He tries to grab Godzilla's tail, only to be swatted away, crashing into a building. Superman flies out to re-engage Godzilla while the Flash evacuates the building's inhabitants, and Supergirl, Wonder Woman, Hawkgirl, Green Lantern, and Green Arrow assemble to assist the Kryptonian. When Lantern asks if they should figure out where the Legion of Doom went instead, Wonder Woman reminds him that the situation at hand is urgent. Cyborg then reports that three other Titans have appeared in major cities, Scylla in Central City, Kamazots in Gotham City, and Behemoth in Themyscira. Realizing they need to divide and conquer, the Justice League calls upon all available heroes. Hawkgirl heads to Superman's location. Supergirl, The Flash, and Green Lantern fly to Central City. Wonder Woman, Wonder Girl, and Green Arrow head to Themyscira. And Batman, Robin, Nightwing, The Red Hood, Batgirl, Batwoman, Black Canary, and Cyborg intercept Kamazots in Gotham. On their way, Wonder Woman and Green Arrow stumble across Skull Island, much to their confusion. Green Arrow offers to investigate the island while Wonder Woman and Wonder Girl take care of Behemoth, which the Amazon reluctantly accepts. Inside the facility on Skull Island, the Cheetah and Black Manta check to see if the rest of their team are accounted for. Black Manta explains that the stone Toy Man took from the Fortress of Solitude was the Dream Stone which is able to alter realities at will and is responsible for the monsters being transported to their world. Back in Metropolis, Lex Luthor finds himself back in his Metropolis office and witnesses Superman's battle with Godzilla. After his personal assistant, Mercy Graves, explains the situation, he prepares to head to his bunker and demands a full download on what's going on. Hawk Girl arrives and hits Godzilla in the head with her mace, which only mildly irritates him, while Jimmy Olsen takes Lois Lane to safety. In Gotham City, Batman and Batwoman launch missiles at Kamazots from their Batplanes, with the Titan returning fire with his sonic weapon. Batman suggests luring him away from the city while Nightwing and Batgirl save civilians from the crossfire. Batwoman emphasizes the need to find a weak point, prompting Red Hood to aim his sniper rife at his eye. Despite pleas to stop from Cyborg and the Bat family, Red Hood scores a direct hit to the Titan's eye, who retaliates with another sonic blast. The crumbling building threatens to crush several civilians, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Batgirl, but Black Canary saves them with her sonic scream. Nightwing and Red Hood argue, with Batgirl knocking the latter out for his trouble. They regroup and plan to use Kamazots' own sonic frequency against him. Batman distracts the Titan as Cyborg and Batwoman build a sonic amplifier for Black Canary and install it on Batwoman's Batplane. Batman fires a missile at Kamazots' injured eye, causing him to emit another sonic blast and destroy his craft. As Batman ejects and safely parachutes to the ground, Cyborg pushes Batwoman's ship towards Kamazots as Black Canary screams into the amplifier. Incapacitating the Bat-Titan and sending him crashing to the ground. Back in Metropolis, Superman and Hawkgirl continue harassing Godzilla to buy time for the city's evacuation. Hawkgirl is swatted away by Godzilla but is saved by Shazam. He sets her down on a rooftop while Superman uppercuts Godzilla who retaliates with a blast of his atomic breath. Superman uses his heat vision and engages the Titan in a beam lock. Realizing they're at a standstill, Shazam tries to help by crying out Shazam and striking Godzilla with a lightning bolt. This stuns Godzilla, but reverts Shazam back into his normal Billy Batson form. Superman catches Billy and chastises him for doing something so risky. However, Superman takes it back and urges Billy to transform back as Godzilla fires another blast at the two. Superman shields Billy and takes the brunt of the blast, saving the boy but falling headfirst to the pavement fatally injured. Billy calls out to him fearfully as Godzilla roars in victory, 